To say the CEO of Advance Auto Parts was a failure is like saying the Titanic had a little problem with ice. During his tenure as CEO, Tom Greco saw the shares of the auto parts store plunge by 65% and investors have lost $5.6 billion off the market cap of the stock this year alone. But ticker AAP has just announced a new CEO and is about to benefit from one of the best eras for auto parts stores in its history. I'll show you exactly how and when to invest along with three strategies that could produce market beating profits in just a few months. Advance Auto Parts has over 4,700 shops and 319 world pack branches across North America and Puerto Rico. It also has 1,200 independently owned CarQuest branded stores. When Tom Greco took over as CEO in 2016, the company was a $9.5 billion market value and 35% of market sales among the big three auto parts retailers with O'Reilly and AutoZone. Up to that point, the stock had kept up with its rivals. Here we see over the three prior years, shares of advanced auto parts outperformed AutoZone by about 5%, though O'Reilly did pull away from both. Over the last seven years, management blunders have stripped $6.2 billion from the stock's value and the company has fallen to just 27% of sales among the big three. Even up to 2019, the shares underperformed its competitors but kept pace fairly well. It was at that point that things just fell apart fast. AAP stock has now fallen 57% over Greco's tenure and underperformed both its rivals by more than 280% over those seven years. At one point, the company tried to preserve margins by keeping prices higher even as competitors were cutting prices. That led to weaker sales growth, and then management fumbled profitability as well. The operating margin fell from 8.5% in 2015 to just 6.4% last year. Now that slow sales growth sparked an investor exodus as earnings tumbled. Greco announced his retirement earlier this year, but had one last parting gift for shareholders, an 83% dividend cut in May. But with a new CEO and two other catalysts I'm watching, the stock could be too cheap to ignore, and I'm buying the shares. AAP currently trades for just 0.3 times its last year's revenue. That is a discount of 72% off the five-year average of 1.08 times on a price-to-sales multiple. It's also just 9.8 times earnings, less than half the longer term average of 22 times PE. And compare that to competitors trading at premiums to their own averages. AutoZone now trades for 2.8 times sales, a premium to its 2.5 times multiple over the last five years, and for 19.5 times its earnings. O'Reilly trades even more expensively here at 3.85 times its revenue versus a 3.3 times average and 26 times its earnings. I'll be using Weeble for our three stock strategies later. I use Weeble for its paper portfolio that helps you test out your strategies before you invest your own money. You can buy stocks in your paper portfolio, see how they do, and then test out your ideas before investing. You can invest in stocks, options, ETFs, and crypto on Weeble and pay no commissions for stock trading. The advanced charting tools and level two quotes are a must for traders, and you'll earn 5% on your uninvested cash. Weeble also offers transfer reimbursement up to $100 if you transfer from another investing account. Right now, look for the link in the description below, sign up and deposit any amount, and you're gonna receive up to 12 fractional shares of stock, absolutely free with each share worth up to $3,000. There is a lot to like here, besides the 5% return on your cash, the free shares, and that stock simulator, so make sure you check out the link below. Now, I'm watching shares of AAP on three catalysts, two of which have already taken place. First is the announcement of that new CEO. The company announced last month that Home Depot veteran Shane O'Kelly would take over at advance. O'Kelly has more than 30 years experience, most recently as CEO of HD Supply, a subsidiary of Home Depot, and before that as CEO of PetroChoice, the largest distributor of lubricants in the United States. And that experience gives him the logistics and retail know-how the company needs, and with that transition happening mid-September, we should hear about a new direction by the company's third quarter earnings report mid-November. We can see that short interest is still very high with this stock, with shorts selling roughly 4 million shares or about 8% of the available shares. With 92% of the shares held by institutional traders and 1% by insiders, that doesn't leave a whole lot of wiggle room and could even spark a short squeeze with some good news. And the second catalyst here should support all the stocks in this industry, the increasing age of cars on the roads. The average age of US passenger vehicles is now 12.5 years old. That's up from 10.3 years in 2008, according to the IHS market. More cars are now entering that 6 to 11 year old sweet spot for mechanic visits than ever before. And that's going to support revenue growth for the company even through a recession. In fact, auto parts may help protect your portfolio if the market falls. 
when the S&P 500 fell more than 40% through the crash in March 2009, shares of Advanced Auto Parts was one of less than 10 stocks to post gains, seeing the price jump by 20%. Now, the third catalyst here for Advance is a long shot, but could see the shares jump higher. If management cannot produce a turnaround within the next year, I would expect activist investors or private equity to start targeting this company. Because this is exactly the kind of company private equity investors love to buy. It has a strong brand name and market share within its industry. Until just recently, it was strongly cash flow positive and has a solid balance sheet. And while that dividend cut was painful for investors, it does free up over $280 million in cash each year. That, with the $277 million in balance sheet cash right now, means the company has more than enough liquidity. AAP refinanced its near-term debt before last year's spike in interest rates, and the newest notes don't mature until 2027. That's giving the company years to execute a rebound. It's still cash flow positive, with $250 million in operational cash flow a year, and that dividend cut takes it to free cash flow positive as well. Free cash flow was as high as $822 million in 2021. Now, sales are expected up just 1% this year to $11.3 billion and 2% next year. Earnings this year are expected to plunge 65% to $4.68 a share before rebounding 19% next year. Now, that slow sales growth isn't an industry problem though, with sales of AutoZone expected 7% higher and O'Reilly up 9% this year. So I think there is a real opportunity here with a new management team and direction Advanced Auto Parts can surprise on the top and bottom line. So there are three ways to play this expected rebound from a long-term investment to lower and higher risk options. I'm gonna show you how to set each up and explain why you would wanna choose each. For most investors, including myself, simply buying the shares for that long-term investment is gonna be the best strategy. I have a three-year target of $93 per share on a price multiple of just 0.5 times revenue. The idea here is that as that sales growth and the earnings improve with better management, Investors are going to come back to this stock and push those valuation multiples higher, back closer to the long-term average. At just 0.5 times on a price-to-sales basis, that's still less than half the long-term average, but would represent a 66% return from the current 0.3 times valuation and $55 stock price. Now, for those of you that want a less risky approach, you can buy the shares and sell call options to lower your cost. If we look at the Webull app, we see that the January 2025 call options at a $75 strike price are trading for a premium of $7.40 each. Now that means a call option buyer is willing to pay you $7.40 a share for the right to buy your shares from you through that expiration date on January 2025 for that $75 strike price. And how this works, you buy the shares for that current price around $55.40 and immediately sell those call options against it, collecting the $7.40 premium. And that lowers your actual cost for the shares to just over $48 each. You're getting an immediate discount of 13% on your stock price. So if the shares do continue to fall, you've got that downside protection. If the shares do rise above that $75 by the option expiration in January 2025, then you're gonna be selling them for that price and an upside return of 55% in just 16 months. If the stock doesn't pass $75 by then, you keep the shares and the money you collected and can sell another call option for more cash return and more risky. And this strategy should only be used by the most bullish on the stock would be something like a call spread. Now, AAP is scheduled to report its earnings on November 13th. If it can convince investors that a turnaround plan is in the works, we could see a pop in the shares. So here again, if we go to the options, this time the ones expiring November 17th, the week of the earnings report, we can buy the $55 strike calls for about $5.20 per share and sell the $60 calls for $3.19 a share. And that means your total cost would be just $2 per share and the strategy would make money at any point above $57 a share. At that point, we're making $2 on the $55 strike calls to cover the cost and any upside to that $60 per share price is just profit. For example, if the shares go up just 8% from now until expiration in November, that strategy would produce a 150% return in just under two months. Of course, you can play around with both of these option strategies by adjusting the date of the options or the strike price for more or less risk. If you're expecting a bigger pop in the shares on that Q3 report, then maybe you buy the $60 calls and sell the 65 for an even higher profit. Or if you wanna give that potential upside on a covered call strategy, 
Maybe you sell the $80 call options instead, still giving you an 11% cash return on this stock, but a higher upside. Get your 12 free fractional shares when you deposit any amount and start investing on Weeble with the link below, or click on the video to the right to see my price target for Amazon and why I'm buying the stock. Don't forget to join the Let's Talk Money community by tapping that subscribe button and clicking the bell notification.